ultimately what we're looking for and what we need is a very close um, and trusting UK-EU relationship, just as the trusting relationship that developed between Britain and Ireland in the lead up to the Good Friday Agreement. Pandemic is the, the one reason. I mean, this was happening prior to the pandemic. The pandemic has amplified it. Every day across the globe, millions of women and girls are controlled and exploited for commercial or personal gain. It's that it's a gendered crime. Trafficking happens because of there's a lot of underlying gender inequalities around the world. This, this war has changed very much in, in understanding of people uh, and uh, assessment of, of Russia's strength. I think Putin has, we, we see, see quite clearly that Putin has put all his cards on the weakness of Europe, on the weakness of West in general. When we talk about, you know, Black History Month, that it's um, something that possibly took place somewhere else. We look at it in October and we default back to some grand narrative of British history or world history for the other 11 months of the year. And there's a fundamental problem with that. But I'm Asian and I don't get taught Asian history. Well, but it's, and arguably no, but it's wound exact... up much tighter with India. Well, I wouldn't say much more tight with India, but of course, the history of Indians in Britain should also be taught. The history yeah. of Irish in Britain should be taught. Why should history It'd be, be a presented? Very big history no, no, no. curriculum. Isn't Why it? should history be presented in a distorted way, mm. so that people cannot understand the world in which they live? Mm.